Animals see the world in thousands of different ways. Hawks can spot their prey from three kilometers away. Lions stalk the savanna in darkness. And compound eyes make dragonflies the most successful hunters on the planet. In the animal kingdom, the difference between life and death may not be what you see, but how you see. Hawks have been surveying the Earth for over 35 million years. This female Harris hawk doesn't miss a thing. Her vision is so clear, she can see every detail on this pigeon's feathers. It's her next meal. The hawk's eyes work like a telescope, magnifying the images. She can see the world in a wider range of colors than humans, including ultraviolet light. She waits for the right moment to strike. And she can do it in midair. The ability to spot and track a target, even while in flight, makes her a formidable predator. Hawkeyes are a testament to the power of evolution. Eyes have been evolving for millions of years. It all started with a single cell that could detect light, a photoreceptor. That one photoreceptor could only tell whether it was bright or dark. It was called an eye spot. Microscopic animals like this rotifer still have this primitive form of vision. As animals grew larger, the photoreceptors multiplied in numbers to create a primitive retina, the part of the eye that holds the photoreceptors. Later on, the photoreceptor sheet curved, creating an eye cup, which gave them the ability to tell what direction the light was coming from. The aquatic planaria worm still has eye cups. It can see rough shapes, but little detail. To make the images clearer, the eye curved further until there was only a small opening that would direct all the light onto the retina. This is the pinhole eye. Today, the giant nautilus owns one of the last living examples of this type of eye. It can see in high resolution, but it needs a lot of light. In order to get more light into the eye, animals evolved a lens. This meant light could be bent and focused on the retina, creating a sharper image. Sea snails still have this rudimentary lens. Eventually, fish developed more advanced eyes, not only with retinas full of photoreceptors, but with transparent cells that grew over top to protect the eyes and focus light, the cornea. Still, at the heart of the fish eye, as with most vertebrates, are photoreceptors, the rods and cones. Rods pick up shape and movement, and cones pick up color. Fish have four different types of cones, which allow them to see more colors. Most mammals have only two types of cones. But amphibians, reptiles, and birds kept all four cones. A clear advantage for a hawk's hunting skills. Every square millimeter of a hawk's retina contains one million photoreceptors five times more than humans. Special oil droplets on their cones act like filters, helping them see those colors in better resolution. In other words, hawks see the world in ultra high definition, giving them the best vision in the animal kingdom. 
In order to see farther, the lenses in the hawk's eyes are further away from the retina than a human's. They act like telescopes with a longer focal length that magnifies images. This combined visual sharpness and wide range of color vision are key to their survival. Hawks can judge the size of an animal from up to three kilometers away. That means from a very safe distance, they know whether that animal can eat them or they can eat it. With eyes this specialized, it's no wonder they've evolved eye protectors. They have a third eyelid known as the nictitating membrane. There it goes now. The membrane protects the hawk's eyes and sweeps antibacterial tears across them, even while the hawk looks through it. To further improve a hawk's visual acuity, birds evolved a structure called a pectin oculi, which holds the eye's blood vessels and keeps them away from the retina. This structure moves the blood vessels to the side, so there are no obstructions to look through. Other vertebrates, including humans, don't have this structure. Their blood vessels sit in front of the retina, partially obscuring their vision. The hawk's eyes are always clear, keeping it ready to fly into action. Refined by millions of years of evolution, hawks have truly killer vision. It's not just the structure of the eye that helps a top predator. Location is important too. Big predators like the cheetah need to keep both eyes on the prize. They use peripheral vision to stay alert to potential threats, but their main focus is always straight in front. Which is why most carnivorous mammals have forward-facing eyes with a relatively narrow field of view. But because each eye sees the object from a slightly different angle, each one projects a slightly different variation of the same scene onto the retina. The brain superimposes these two variations to create a single 3D image so that carnivores are able to accurately judge depth and distance. Useful when a gazelle is firmly in sight. As the cheetah runs, it keeps its prey in focus on a sharp, narrow band in the middle of its field of view. This is particularly important for keeping a moving target in focus when going in for the kill. This time, the gazelle loses to the spectacular vision, speed, and accuracy of the cheetah. But as the sun sets, the cheetah's eyesight starts to fail, and it hunkers down for the night, as the lion starts to wake up. Like the cheetah, the lion's eyes are on the front of his head, but he has some structural advantages that allow him to hunt at night. Thanks to a special layer of cells called tapetum lucidum, or bright tapestry, the lion's eyes are able to find its prey in the fading light. Tapetum lucidum refers to a layer of crystals that sits at the back of the eye and reflects light back onto the retina, like a mirror. The eye and brain can now form a brighter image. One of the visible effects of tapetum lucidum is eye shine, eyes that glow in the dark. There really ain't no way to hide those lion eyes. The scariest glowing eyes by far belong to one of the deadliest night stalkers, the tiger. The tapetum lucidum coupled with the structure of the tiger's retina gives it laser sharp vision in the dead of night. Their retina is perfectly adapted for night vision. They can see movement in almost pitch dark conditions. Nighttime predators have a lot of rods in their retina, so they see well in the dark. 
but only two types of cones, so they just see blue and green. Color is not as important when you're hunting in the dark. Prowling the jungle in the middle of the night, the eye of the tiger seeks out living prey. This forward-facing setup is perfect for a predator, but pitiful for the prey. Grazing animals must be on high alert in case danger is near. Excellent peripheral vision is a must, so their eyes are on the side of their head. Because they feed on grass, they don't need the same depth perception as hunters. After all, there's no need to stalk or ambush plants. Grass is a relatively new type of plant, about 40 million years old. Animals that adapted to eat it had to move to the wide open spaces of the prairies. These conspicuous areas have no cover for protection. So grazing animals adapted their eyesight to have as wide a field of view as possible. This allows them to detect predators from almost every angle and quickly see which escape routes are available if they're attacked. Like most prey animals, horses' eyes are on the sides of their heads. They have just two blind spots, one under their face below the muzzle and one directly behind the head, which extends over the back and behind the tail. They still have nearly a 350 degree panoramic range of view. But this wide range has a trade-off. Like most grazing animals, the majority of their vision is monocular, not binocular. Meaning there's little overlap in what each eye sees. So they see more around them, but have worse depth perception. Any suspicious movement, and they usually flee. Horses have the largest eyes of any land mammal, which helps them detect danger at all hours. In the paddock or on the prairie, grazing animals are always on the lookout. But for some animals, it's not about the hunt. It's about foraging for food. So how does vision help with that? Gorillas see things exactly the way humans do. They see the yellow mango and the green celery. The red ball clearly caught this little gorilla's attention. Turns out gorillas and other great apes like orangutans and chimpanzees have a much wider range of color vision than most mammals. Color vision is a relatively recent development for primates and a big evolutionary advantage. The earliest primates were tiny nocturnal creatures that stayed close to the ground and only came out at night. That way they could have dinner and not be dinner. As night crawlers, they relied more on seeing shapes and movement than color. At this point, they use their sense of smell more than their eyesight. Eventually, primates moved up into the trees, but they still had limited color vision. These lemurs are direct descendants of the early tree-living primates. Like other nocturnal animals, they have a lot of rod cells in their eyes, which help them see well in the dark. But fewer cones for color detection. They see in shades of green and blue because they have just two types of color photoreceptors. This is called dichromatic vision. The same goes for many of the monkeys of Central and South America, like these squirrel monkeys. But at some point in their evolution, old world monkeys from Africa and Asia, like baboons and macaques, evolved trichromatic vision. They have three types of color receptor cones. 
not just sensitive to blue and green, but red as well. This type of vision requires medium to bright light. But as old world monkeys became diurnal and forged in the day, it worked to their advantage. Scientists believe primates evolved trichomatic vision because it helped pick out good fruit to eat, which helped them survive. One way to tell the ripeness of fruit is by touching it to see how soft it is. But it's usually easier to tell by looking at it. Red fruits are usually sweeter and easier to digest. For baboons, red also signals readiness for sex. As primates moved into trees and away from the source of smells on the ground, sight became more important than smell. After all, primates can see further than they can smell. With less ability to pick up smells and pheromones in the air, primates needed more visual cues for sex. Even when the great apes emerged and evolved to spend more time on the ground, the advantages of full-color vision continued. It's a different story for insects. Some have evolved sophisticated eyes, making them ferocious predators. Here is the most accurate hunter on the planet. This dragonfly catches 95% of its intended prey, making it twice as deadly as the infamous great white shark. Its killer secret is its incredible eyesight. Like most insects, dragonflies have compound eyes, which are designed to detect movement faster than any other kind of eye. A compound eye consists of thousands of individual lenses called omatidia. They're very small. The image the insect sees is a combination of all the omatidia put together. They sit on a convex surface and point in slightly different directions, creating stereo vision. Like a giant wall filled with thousands of TV screens that are all projecting a tiny fragment of one large image. If the image is another insect, for example, then instead of seeing thousands of tiny insects, one giant insect would be displayed across all the screens. The tiny size of the omatidia limits the sharpness of the picture. For many insects, that's a problem. But dragonflies have specialized flat zones in their eyes called fovias. These allow more light from a single source to reach the eye, so seeing through them actually improves resolution. With about 30,000 omatidia in each eye, Dragonflies have the best vision among all invertebrates. It can even see ultraviolet light. Its head can move independently of its body. It can lock onto its target while its body maneuvers into the best position for capture, often catching its prey in midair. A dragonfly is voracious and can eat a fifth of its body weight each day. Compound eyes are so effective that they've changed very little over the eons. The oldest compound eyes in the fossil record belong to trilobites. They lived 500 million years ago, and their eyes were made of calcite crystals. Praying mantises' compound eyes contain up to 10,000 individual omatidia, less than the dragonfly. But it has other advantages, it can rotate its head 360 degrees, like something out of a horror movie. A mantis can see well from 15 meters away, while some flies and mosquitoes can only see objects clearly within a few millimeters. The mantis hunts during the day. It's a master of disguise, and its eyes have excellent depth perception which complements its ambush hunting style. It waits until the prey is within striking distance,
calculating the time and distance between itself and its target. At the last moment, it goes in for the kill. To hold on to its prey, the mantis uses its front forelimbs, which are covered in spines that project backward. As the prey tries to wriggle free, it impales itself further until the mantis bites the head off to stop it from moving. Compound eyes create formidable hunters, even under the sea. With the most complex vision in the world and a punch thrown faster than a speeding bullet, this technicolor creature is an underwater superhero. The mantis shrimp is neither mantis nor shrimp, but it delivers the ultimate knockout. Its strike really is faster than a speeding bullet, a 22 caliber to be exact. It's the fastest move in the ocean, which means it needs excellent eyesight to keep its eyes on the prize. Fortunately, evolution took care of that. Mounted on mobile stocks that move independently, the mantis shrimp's compound eyes are unlike any other on Earth. Each eye is divided into three parts, giving the mantis shrimp trinocular vision. This enables depth perception using just one eye. It's a big advantage for a hunter. The constantly moving eye stalks allow the mantis shrimp to scan a huge area of its environment. Each eye part is specialized and serves a specific purpose. The upper and lower parts mainly recognize form and motion. The middle has six rows of omatidia that detect color. Where humans have three color photoreceptors, mantis shrimp have at least 12. But despite having four times as many receptors, experiments have shown that they can't see as many colors as humans can. Their eyes are more tailored for speed and efficiency. The mantis shrimp rarely leaves home except to eat. It just needs to know if something is prey or predator. This unique visual system allows them to figure that out quickly without wasting time and energy on brain processing. Unlike humans, it skips sending visual stimuli to the brain and does its processing in the eyes themselves. It also has a territorial temperament, driving it to kill anything that comes too close. This is one of the most aggressive hunters in the animal kingdom. With those highly developed eyes, it's easy to see why.